Hi everyone! Um, so in this video we're going to learn how to create a puffer jacket. If you look in the description below there is a link to a project file which you can download and follow along. Otherwise you can just watch and listen to my voice. So the first step uh, to this is you're going to want to create all of your internal lines or your cut lines, your seam lines, any kind of design that you want to do, you want to create that first. What I'm doing is I'm using the 3D line tool to draw some seams and then I'm going to use my edit line tool to uh, match up my, set, my points and right click and cut and sew. Then I want to draw some top stitching lines uh, or quilt lines. To do that, I'm using my edit pattern tool. I'm right clicking on my outline or my segment and I'm choosing offset as internal line. This lets me offset a line to any measurement I'd like. If your lines don't touch your pattern outlines, you can always select all of the ones that don't touch, right click and choose extend trim to pattern outline. Next, we're going to create a layer clone. A layer clone is a uh, really quick way of creating a lining layer or a layer on top of your uh, curtain patterns. So the best way to do it is to just select all of your uh, jacket pattern pieces with your transform pattern tool. Then you're going to right click on one of those patterns and choose layer clone under. Um, then this new set of patterns, you can just click once underneath your top layer to place them in your 2D window. Now we're going to add pressure to our patterns. Pressure is uh, a force that is pushing against your pattern pieces. So when you have a lining layer and a shell or the outer layer, um, the pressure can be enclosed and then it will inflate your garment. This gives you the look of a garment that's filled with down um, or if you're working with a beach ball or something, you can actually create that inflated ball. With the bottom layer selected, you're gonna scroll down into your property editor and apply a negative pressure, so like negative 10. Then select the top layer and do the same positive pressure, so positive 10. Um, so they're always opposites. Then simulate and your jacket should puff up. At this point, you can adjust some of the pressure values. Uh, so for me, I'm going to decrease the pressure on the uh, body pattern pieces just a bit so that it's not as puffy. Um, they should always be the same opposite value. So if it's negative 5, it's positive 5. Now we're going to fine tune our garment. We're going to add some stitch tension and el or elastic. Um, they kind of do the same thing. Uh, if you're going to use elastic, you're going to select all of the lines or segments that um, are going to have top stitching or their quilt lines. You're going to set the elastic to around a 97 to 99 percent ratio. Um, this is just going to pull a bit at the fabric. It gives you a better uh, like wrinkling effect. To edit all of your line, internal lines at once, I'm going to lock my patterns. You can right click in the grid and then choose lock all patterns. This lets you select all of your internal lines independently. And it's a helpful trick when you're trying to edit multiple things at once. Cool. So next we're just going to change our fabrics and if you have used quilt before it's pretty simple. You just uh, go into the default library, pick the fabric you use and drag and drop it onto your garment. I'm choosing a nylon because I think it looks the best with this kind of jacket. Then I'm going to change the pose also in the default library of my avatar under pose and um, make her arms go down. I can change the color in the property editor of my fabric and I'm also going to give it a uh, satin finish so that's under material type also in the property editor when you click on your fabric. You can just adjust the roughness which is how shiny it is. Um, it's up to you um, how you want that to look. It's not a big deal. Um, then yep, I'm just going to adjust all of that stuff. Applying puckering to seams and stitch lines. So the puckering tool is all the way to the side of your 2D window. Um, it's just like the top stitching tool. You select your puckering and then adjust the settings. 
Um, you can pick nylon fabric versus cotton. Then you're gonna use your applying puckering tool or your add puckering tool and just click on the lines or segments that you want to add all the puckering to. If your patterns were already locked, you can just select all and it will grab all of your internal lines. Um, you'll start to see the puckering appear on your 3D garment. That's a good way of uh, seeing the final result. Cool, so my puckering is on. Um, you can play with that. It's kind of up to you how much puckering you want to actually see. Um, usually you'll probably see puckering wherever anything is sewn down, so at all of the seams. And I'm just adjusting a bit and uh, just kind of finalizing the look of my garment. Um, reapplying elastic if I kind of deleted it or it doesn't look that great. Okay, almost done. We're going to apply top stitching now. As you know, top stitching is its own separate thing. In close, so just like puckering, you go into your property editor. Um, edit the top stitch that you want to use, and then you can just use your add top stitch tool to apply it on all of your quilt lines or all of your um, areas where there should be top stitching. Since we're not really covering uh, materials and using top stitching or um, adding materials, um, there's actually another tutorial video that you can watch about materials and fabrics and clo, which I'll link at the bottom in the description. And then the last thing is we're going to uh, change our garment into high res. So that is the high res garment tool. You can click on it and um, it will automatically make your garment more high resolution. Uh, normally we're working at like a draft quality, but for final renders, we wanna make sure that everything looks nice, particle distance is low, and that everything is sitting on the body um, closer to the avatar. Once you hit the OK button on the high res garment tool, just make sure to turn on simulation for a couple seconds. You can watch your garment kind of settle and now look all nice and beautiful. And you're good. You're done. And that's how you create a puffer jacket in Clo. Thank you for watching. I hope you like or subscribe. And um, also put request for what videos you want next down in the comments. So thank you. Goodbye.